Um, I want to let in my man who called in from the 818. Let me uh, see where he's at. Fresh, what's going on? Hey, what's up? No, no, you I said know. I'm I'm yeah, doing well. Right. Check 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 it out. I'm all right. I'm uh I was talking about Doyle Shamley. You ever heard of him? No. Doyle Shamley was uh uh Bill Cooper. They were roommates like for the last like uh five, six, seven years of uh Bill's life actually and uh after Bill got murdered by the feds, um yep. Uh, he uh, um, Doyle took over HourOfTheTime.com, which uh, you know you all should go there, um, and you can download Behold a Pale Horse for free, and they have like it, it, they have uh, they have everything you could ever want. Uh, the other he's the one Doyle put me onto this show. He, he's, the, really? he's the one who yeah he's the one who started feeding me links. He doesn't keep okay for obvious reasons. He doesn't keep a Facebook, Twitter, or. Uh, YouTube account or whatever, but I'm I'm releasing an album later this year, so that's why I started the YouTube account, and I'm actually getting rid of my Facebook uh, here like within 24 hours, just so I because I, I don't like keeping the tracking devices and shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> I keep I keep burners uh, like the 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 cell I'm using right now. I'm getting rid of it in a couple of days. Like I sent you emails uh, two nights ago. Or whatever, mm -hmm. and it was it, it was it was after it was like right when you had got to uh, to to Eno, and, um, and yeah, and and I sent I like on a bunch of your uh, a bunch of your channels on the, on the on the uh, on the um, your uh, your uh, your world my view um, uh, email or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, mm -hmm. and and I and I put I put my. Uh, my number, I told you about Doyle and all this or whatever, because, yeah, I was like, hey, man, like, because I told him that, uh, that I you found have to send it to like, my that, that, email. You, you have to send it to my email. You just, yeah, you no, send it to my email and I send yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I sent, yeah, I sent it to TJ. I sent you three. I even sent you, like, uh, news stuff that you could kill because I found uh, ba this, this video of babies twerking. I was like, what the fuck has the world come to? Babies twerking. <laughs> and my best told about your voice. I was like, so am I your for president? <laughs> yeah, brother, I, I'm mad that I didn't, I didn't get to see it. We, you, we gotta get it uh, to where you, you can mean, send I, it to I'm, me. I'm, 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 I'm diligent, man. You, you, <laughs> I'm diligent, so you know, it's, I was, I was gonna get to this because that's the whole thing. You have, all right, the, the, um, the audience that you have. And the audience that Doyle got, because he, he was doing, I mean, he just stopped uh, recently doing the uh, the broadcast every every week or whatever, so he could go around the country. He spoke in D.C. the other the other day at Congress. At Congress, nice. talk, you know, helping us, you know, about uh, gun rights and shit. He's been going around the country for the last uh, year and a half, two years, uh, educating all the sheriffs in, in all the different counties all over the country because... They have the most power. That's why the that's why we were given the states. We were given the states so that if we get, started getting a tyrannical government, that we could claim statehood and basically run our own shit in our own states. And then um, and giving the sheriff, who is an elected official, the highest power in each county. So he's been doing that, and and, and the, those sheriffs love it and shit. I mean, he's not. We, but hey, believe me, we ain't cop lovers, and we know about the police state and all this shit and how they discriminate and all that. And it's, it's fucked up, man. I'm from Los Angeles, and Doyle mm -hmm. is from Southern California too. So yeah, I mean, we we know what's up. And <laughs> hey, let me I'm tell you, I got introduced to um, Bill Cooper when I was, of course, in jail. Oh, sh oh, I, oh, oh, of course. Yeah, when I was in there, it's like a lot of brothers were reading it, but a lot of brothers didn't get it. Like a lot of a lot of people that get into conspiracy, they still don't get it. If that makes sense to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, they okay. You have to do. I, okay, five years ago, I um, I you know, because I heard it in in uh, rap songs my whole my whole life or whatever, but was too fucking dumb not to go yep. in and actually look for it or whatever. So I went on YouTube one night. And and I and I just I just looked up Behold a Pale Horse one night, found the audio book. Listen to that shit. Uh, I haven't been the same ever since. And I used to be 
I, you know, I used to know shit wasn't right, and I, I used to think it was about the money like everybody else now, I mean, like everybody else does, until I started doing the research, finding out about mystery, uh, mystery Babylon, the mystery religion, their secret religion that binds them all together, holds them all together, and then started uh, learning about everything else and every aspect of it. So I went from, I went from just being uh, street smart to, like, fucking 95% more... Uh, knowledgeable than uh, uh, all humanity really because there's so there's you know only five percent of uh of the country fought the revolutionary war and this coming shit that that's this coming shit that's thank about you. to happen you know t- thank you i was listening to you the other night that's what got man i'm uh, that's why it was, got me here and got me to to get onto this. So I was like, I was like, man, I gotta get on this. Hook him up with Doyle because you're talking about the race war. We agree because see, this is what this was up to expand on what you're talking about with uh, Sage the other night. Um, uh, this is what's up, right? They, they they want they want us to start a civil war. That's why, like you're saying, they, they got all they got all us white folks buying up all them guns and shit. And then you know how since cops have been straight ass fucking minorities since the beginning, so they got all the felonies, can't buy the guns unless they unless they get them off the street, you know, then uh um and then and then see this is what they're gonna do. Then cause uh the Rodney King shit with the LA riots, that was a test. So they're gonna do the same shit with Trayvon. And they're gonna let they're gonna let the, the, the Mexican dude who's not white but they make us think he's white, um, to to get uh the whole white against black thing or whatever and they're gonna acquit him and they're going to make it look like some crazy fucked up shit or whatever to get us all mad at each other and so that they can start this uh, civil war. And, okay, at the same time, then there will be revolutionaries who want to uh, overthrow the this government because they're sick of shit or whatever. See, we are on the side of restor- uh, uh, restoration of the Constitution, you know, uh, the way it's supposed to be, because that's the only way we can stop them like, Illuminati from owning our ass, and mm-hmm. and then locking locking them up, uh, putting them on trial according to the Constitution, and then if they're found guilty, hang them. There ain't enough lampposts, man. And, and, and here's the thing: like I talked about this, and I can't wait to put it up. When I was in Alabama, there was a a, a young white man there. Young white man, tattoos all over. You know how we assume. White men in Alabama yeah, yeah, are racist, yeah. right? I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't have any tats myself because uh, no identifying marks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is true. But check this out. After a while, me, I'm like a bar fly. I enjoy being at the bar and I love uh, drinking and talking to people. Yeah. And so I started. I bought him a drink because um, I bought him and his friend a drink. And next thing you know, we got to talking, and me and the, the younger friend got together on one common ground. Well, I started talking about the upcoming race war, and then I started talking about Alex Jones. Now, to the chagrin yeah, of the other that's people, what I sent you. that's what yep. I sent you stuff about too about Alex Jones on your on your email, giving you so uh, proof about him being a shill. He's a government agent. He's 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 part of COINTELPRO. We we've been knowing this for over ten years. Like that's what's up. No, and, and, and if you think of it, that's why I was trying to tell people. I was like, I'm a little different than Alex Jones because I can point to stuff, but there are certain things that Alex won't talk about. Oh yeah, no, but this is the thing. This is the thing. On check this out. This is something that no, I bet nobody on here knows because nobody was listening to him back then. All right, and and Bill did three shows. He did four shows total, all on Alex Jones. One call. The last one he did was after 9/11, called Alex Jones Liar. <laughs> and then when he did three, he did three before that called uh, Alex Jones Deception. You guys can find it on uh, YouTube. Uh, there, there's not, there's like one link. It kind of shows. It, it has it has the first show on there or whatever. But um, Doyle soon Doyle Doyle's uh, uh, the hour of the time got hacked a couple weeks ago, and they, and they totally fucked up the whole site or whatever. But uh, Doyle's been. I mean, he's ex-military intelligence and shit. So he hit him and. And the whole crew got it back up or whatever, but they gotta uh, finish uh, loading all the MP3s back on there because you can go listen to all the Bills broadcasts on there for free. They're all posted. Nice. Yeah, and um, but this is what's up on um, New Year's Eve '99. 
Alex Jones did a show for like three hours talking about how we're getting uh, 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 nuclear uh, bombed from uh, Russia and shit, and and had even had a fucking uh, like a, um, uh, like a, a military officer come on and and like say that hey this is really happening and shit to freak people out so that we would be tricked into making the first the first move. So yeah, so that they could declare martial law, start picking up all all the all the people that uh, that that they, they deem as a threat, kill us or or throw us into FEMA camps, and then um and then start all the rest, you know, and then and then starve out everybody. You, you know, this shit's coming. <laughs> but, well, and that's what I I hate to be called. That's a, why you're a saying people will eat each other. People will eat yeah. each other when they're starving. They ain't no different than animals. That's what you said. No, and they're not. I mean, just remember, you remember yeah, the movie? No. The, the, the movie about the guys the, who got Donner, trapped up in... The Donner Party. The fucking... Uh, oh, it's been going on since the beginning of time, man. The people will run out of food or whatever. Yeah, cannibalism is new. Cannibalism yeah, is not new. Cannibalism, cannibalism is still alive in, in like places like... The, I saw this... Uh, Episode of Taboo on uh, what is National Geographic? Mm -hmm. um, they still got cannibalistic tribes in like Africa, India. There's like some some other places and shit. Like I forgot. Well, see, I this is where, like, like people got to understand. There's, a, there's yes, there are different races. Yes, there are different cultures. But we have to understand that people are using those against us, and here's how they're using it against us. They're making oh, everyone yeah, paranoid. That's, that, that, that is the whole thing. We have to avoid yep. that. That's why I am doing exactly what I'm doing because you have the black ear, we got the white, and like some of the yep. other folks here, and we 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 connect, and then we and then and then, and then guess what? We're all on the same fucking side. And fuck yes, because at the end of the day, to me, I look at it like this, and that's why people get mad at me. I gravitate towards anyone that speaks the truth. Yeah, I don't exactly. Give a fuck no, if you, you tall, high, short, gay, or straight, you know. right? I, I, if, if you, you, you heard that's the one thing I talk right. about all the time. I hate liars. Yeah. That's the one, they are like the worst people to me on the planet. Someone that's going to sit there and lie and get me to react or act a certain way due to their lie pisses me off. Man, you should. What, whenever you get time, go look at that. Uh, <laughs> that uh, Mitch, Miss. Uh, well, I called her uh, the patriarch. Uh, the patriarch of uh, blue waffle disease, Miss uh, Arch. <laughs> Dumbass or whatever, man. I ate that bitch up. I was the only white dude on there. I ate that bitch up. I chewed that bitch up. I spit her out. I think I shit on her a couple times or whatever, and then and then I I just you know and then I just tossed her in the ditch, homie. And I was like, where's the pizza? You know, like no, I'm serious. Don't ask anybody. There's, you know, there's people that are watching this show that are on the chat room right now that will second exactly what I said. And, and, and that's your thing. Like, I look at it. Down. I and got I her, looked at it. I got her to block me. No, she blocked me. And that's what was funny. No, I she didn't know the Constance. Constance ain't got no picture. I was like, she was like, you racist. I was like, how am I racist when I'm talking for Tommy and shit and he's black? I was like, <laughs> also, my best friend who is in my rap group on my record label is Panamanian and black. That's and a good man. I was like, I was like I was like, and from Compton. I was like, I'm the only white man that can hang out in fucking Compton. I was like, I was all saying, I was like, and I was like, and from what I can see, you look like a white man. I was like, no, I said, you look like blank face from Dick Tracy. Why does it mean? <laughs> and and, and then picture, and she's got the silhouette, you know? <laughs> right. And, and see, here's the thing that we have to deal with when we're talking about the truth. And that's why people get mad and they try to get me to change my work. They say, well, you got white people that listen you to you, ever, so you therefore. Can't ever, you can't ever let anybody tell you. This is your show, like you said. Your show. Mm -hmm. And the thing about changing your word, though, if you change your word, you can never go back. I'll give you a perfect yeah, example. Yeah, no, exactly. That's what Bill Cooper said it all the time, man. He's like, yep. he's all, he, he, and, he, and he, would, he would stress that. He's like, when people would call in, try to spread rumor like Alex Jones uh, lets people do, and, and, and he just runs with it or whatever, he would, he, would, he would tell people right then, he'd be like, hey, we don't do rumor on this show. He would, he would eat their ass up, chew them out, hang up on them, and then, like, talk shit about them afterwards. He's like, this is my show. He's like, it. He's all, we don't listen to that bullshit here. We only spit. He's like, the because uh, Bill Clinton put in a White House memo 
that Bill Cooper was the most dangerous radio host in America. You know why? It's because he sticks documented fact, truth, yep. and that's it. And that is what, that's why. And they never said none of that about Alex Jones. Alex Jones is still, I mean, every time I see Alex Jones, the titties get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> No, I sent you an email. I sent you an email saying in my best uh, Tommy voice. I was like, I was like, I got on there uh, seeing, uh, um, and I sent Doyle the same email or whatever, saying that I went on there uh, looking at this uh, um, because they came out with this little movie called I Pet Goat, and he was giving the mystery religion side view so it was a lie but I know better and I know what it's really about and uh and so I was like in my best Sotomayor voice I was like I was all damn motherfucker <laughs> 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 he, he is he is well breasted uh, but I, wanna, I do want to say this there, there, are, there are bits and pieces of truth out there I think the problem is people are lazy does that make sense yeah, yes, exactly. They're not looking. They're not doing. It. See, the people want to just they want to just go on YouTube or see. That's uh, Doyle was saying it. He was saying uh, that's the problem is that uh, people think that uh, the internet is their savior, when in fact it's 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 a facade is really what it is because you know you got to be able to go in the library, go and do the real research. You know, it's like that. That's the whole thing. Like when 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 I first found out about this stuff. And when, like that's the whole thing. I, I tried getting a hold of other so-called uh, people on our side or whatever, and they never talked to me or whatever. I went and and got I, I, I when uh, Doyle had his number posted on there. The first time I called, left a message. Twenty minutes later, get a call back. Talked to him, gave me straight up answers. Was all cool like that. I've been cool with him ever since, and just been tighter as we went along. Man, you know, I mean, I feed him uh, news uh, stories every day. That's, I mean, I'm doing it all day long because, like, that's the whole thing. Uh, right now, um, I don't, I, I don't have to uh, work a regular job right now. I just, I've been, I've been uh, paying all, uh, all my, uh, all my mom's bills. That's the only family I got. Take, take care of her and everything because I kicked her uh, ex-boyfriend out because he was cheating on her and shit. So I straight up bounced that motherfucker out and told her that I, I gave her my word that I would I would stay here and take care of her bills until uh, until the album came out and then and then and then I would be able to just make it so she didn't even have to work anymore. Um, Man, hey, let me ask you something. You didn't even know that I had got cut off, did you? Hold on. What'd you say? You didn't even know I had gotten cut off. Cut off, did you? Oh, I, I, I don't know. It's, I'm getting <laughs> I got cut. I know it, it, it sucks. I was supposed to have. I, I thought T-Mobile was supposed to be good. I guess the way these damn places are here and um, in in um, now. yeah, maybe in New Orleans the way that these places are because all the buildings are inside of each other. Oh, like maybe on, I'm getting. Hold on. Oh, he says he. Oh, uh, Doyle's in the chat room right now. He's he's listening right now. He's he's inside. You should go look on there. Hey Doyle, uh, man, what, what's up? Just say something. Say hey, this is me or something. We're looking at the chat room right now. Yeah, which chat is he in? Which which chat chat room is he in? Um, well, I gave him this. I gave him. I gave him the site. Uh, what? Uh, livestream dot com. Oh, okay, Your so he's in live stream. Uh, Yeah, and and then I and then uh, I I think I sent him the uh, the the link for the um. For the uh, audio too, I don't know. I'm not sure, but yeah, he said he's in here. Um, oh, he's hot, eager. That's the one because the hour of the time, eager. He lives in eager, eager Arizona. Mhm. Yeah, no, that's the fear mongering is to keep sheeple chasing their tails so that they become neutralized per the manual and not part of the solution. See, we're solution oriented. Just like you're talking about, you got to come up with solutions. You can't just be talking the same shit over and over. It doesn't do anything, you know. It's like, and that's and people are like, oh well, and people are still debating if this shit even exists. I'm like, man, and and Doyle was saying on an interview he did the other day that you know you got to look at at the people you got close around you or whatever, and 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 realize that. Uh, the, I mean, you, you can you can drag a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. You know, and, and yeah, and like, 
Oh, go well, ahead. Let me say this. Let me say this. I gotta say this. Um, I gotta point out to someone that he said something. I don't mind addressing people who say something. I wish they would call in, and maybe I'll just answer them. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, do show. it. We should be doing that anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a guy here, and his name is uh, Mad Log Gick, and he said Alex Jones yeah, is capitalizing, yeah, off of fear. And he says, even I get paid to do this, and it taints what it is that I do. I want to ask him, how does it taint what it is that I do? Should I just go around and, and not get anything? I mean, even Jesus, who walked around, he took what it took to get. In every case, he said it would never take too much, but he would also take a, what they needed to go from city to yeah. city as far as food, shelter, and home. He didn't take more than he needed. That was, that exactly. was the whole thing. So if it gets to the point where you see that I'm looking like Bishop T.D. Jakes off of y'all donation, seriously. Well, man, well, you, you ain't, you, hey, but that's the whole thing. Seriously, you, you see me bad. You should be getting paid yes. for your shit. You should be getting paid for your shit just like Doyle should be should be getting paid for the shit he do or whatever. He's, uh, I mean, people wasn't. Yeah, why uh, would you ask somebody to go out and do some work for you, bring it back yeah, to you, exactly. and you say they you know, should yeah. not get anything? So how the hell are they going to even dig to find the information you need? Seriously. Yeah, no, how, no, how, no, how, no, how are we even going to get to watch you if we don't hook it up? Like, what? Right, how, so my last I checked, the internet is free. Last I checked, uh, the, the computer is free. Last I checked, lights are free. Last I checked, electricity is free. Last I checked, there's nothing I use to put out anything that I put. That's free. Yeah, I don't know how to answer the question. And what's funny is, here's what they're trying to do to me now. And this is the funniest thing. At first, they told me I was too broke to be doing what I was doing. But I kept doing it. Now they're trying to tell people, and it's funny, the arguments are all the same. Now they're telling people, I'm getting rich off of what I'm doing. You so say I'm too broke to be rich. Well, I, I, the one thing I know is, I'm not rich. Period. Yeah, the one thing rich, I know is, I'm not rich. Exactly. I literally put in what I, what, I, what I take out of it. Literally, yeah. you can see me putting in what I take out. Now, I had motherfuckers ask me, they said, you got the same clothes in your... you just like yeah. us. And that's why... That's I why. Had, that's, I had a guy say, you got the same clothes in your video. Nigga, you need some new clothes. Nigga, that should let you know I ain't balling. I mean, yeah, I, no, I, 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 I sent you a comment. I sent you a comment that said, man, hey, the new shirt idea is uh, Sotomayor for president. Man, I'll buy that shirt. That's fucking right. <laughs> man, I've been saying it to Doyle for the last, ever since he put me on the show. Because that's the whole thing, man. Uh, um, at, at night or whatever, or when, whenever I'm not uh, writing or, like, just digging through everything I can and reading everything I can, trying to learn as much before the shit hits the fan, you know, like, uh, <laughs> so I'm ready and prepared for it or whatever, you know, like, man, I, I sleep with the I sleep with the 20 gauge a foot from my head just in case. But <laughs> I just think like that now, like, uh, that's the whole thing. But uh, that, it, this this whole, uh, like, oh, that, that's the other thing, man. I, I heard I heard some of your songs that you play before some of the shows and shit, and the shit is tight. And, I, uh, man, I wanted to say how, uh, man, how you were saying how whack shit is now. We definitely agree. Um, ever since they, they killed Pac, it, it, it just went whoop, and now they got little bitches like what little goat face, goat face faggot, the goat face gremlin. What what's that dude name? I, I don't know. I want to kick his teeth out and go collect my fifty G's. What was it? What, oh, Lil Wayne. That's that faggot name. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello. Shit. Hello? Hello? Shit. Hello? Anybody hear me? Fuck me. Guys, I got the worst. Everything is wrong here. The the connection sucks. Where did my man go? Where where did he go? Where did he go? Is that is that him? Did you have, did you you're back? Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you thought you got hung up on me. I got hung up on. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 no. 
And there's a horrible storm here. There's a horrible storm here in uh, New Orleans. Man, they're probably setting that up with heart, man. They're trying to they're trying to stop us from connecting, son. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, no. like, the times I could come here, and the storm was here too. Yeah, I mean, uh, hey, there ain't no storm where I'm at, which is cool because I'm up in the mountains right now at my other place, <laughs> which is I'm, I'm lucky on that. But uh, right. but yeah, like if I was down in L.A. or whatever, they'd probably be like sending their dogs for me or whatever. They'd probably send LAPD talking about uh, trying to plant some rocks on me or something. Be like, no, but it's funny. Kind of, if you notice, if you notice, that's what they're doing. For, for as small as I am, think about it. For as small as I am, look at how they have people coming out after me. Number one. And look how they're repeating oh, yeah, the same no, thing. He's been to jail. He's been to jail. He's been to jail. But they keep repeating it over and over again. They keep putting up this mugshot over and over again. I mean, and if you look at it, every detractor says the exact same thing over and over again. All you even got to do is say, yeah, look at the picture. You still want to fuck with me? <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is, is the show... But wait a minute, but the funny thing is, is my broadcast started because of that. And I said it from the time I did the show, from day one, that was the reason why I started. Because I looked and I learned a whole lot of shit about life that was completely different. All by being able to take a step back. Because me, I was Mr. Corporate. I was, I, was, I was just like everybody else in the Matrix. IBM. Yes, life was good. So if they're going to track all kinds of stuff, you notice they don't track that, though. They don't throw out how much money I made. They don't throw out how big I was at the company. They keep that to themselves. You notice that? Those people, those people are fucking, like, they're, they're like less than nothing, though, man, because that's the whole thing. Anybody who has a brain likes you. Anybody mm-hmm. who's a fucking idiot. We were, man, we were listening to one of the, uh, Oh, uh, like uh, April 9th show earlier, I was man, my mom and I were listening to it. Man, she she loves your shit too. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, she's 66, homie. Man, laughing her ass off at your shit. We're just laughing off at it. this. You had that uh, what was it? The, the, the light skinned girl that you thought was cute, that you thought was gonna be all cool, and at the beginning she was cool, and then all of a sudden when when she couldn't admit that she was wrong, which all bitches can't do. Um, I said bitches, not real women. Uh, no, oh, man, that shit kills me, son. I'm like, because nah, that's the whole thing. You can ask Doyle, but uh, you, you, and, you and I got a similar body count. When it <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Honestly, when I, when I look at things, I look at it as you got to be able to admit anything that's happened. And the thing is, no matter yeah, if you can even if watch you me. If then you ain't real, then it, like you said, it makes your word worth shit. With nothing. Yeah. If you cannot, if you okay, if you if you do something wrong, and if you're, I mean, because honestly, none of us are dumb enough to speak unless we know what the fuck we're talking about. Yep. So we're not gonna speak unless we have the full scope of shit. And if we don't have the full scope of shit, we're gonna ask somebody else who might know, so they can put us on. You know, tell us what's up, and then therefore polishing up our game more. And these people don't understand that because they're like, they're like, like, like Doyle said, they're the sheeple. They're, these people are fucking brainless, dog. Like, okay, when we graduated high school in this country, everybody listening right now, when you graduated, if you graduated high school in this country, you learned to a sixth grade level. That's what's up. Because they've been, like you said, they, you said this before, they've been dumbing us down. That's what's up. We never get smart enough to, that we never get smart enough to figure out what's going on. But they do it they, on purpose. They're, they're yeah. giving you the the, the picture, like Prepare every year is getting to easier. On like, yourself and and be like, oh, oh yes, oh, well, I'll take your your new age white fucking antichrist and shit, David De, De, uh, David Mayor De Rothschild, suck my dick, yeah. <laughs> Think about it this way. There used to be a he time looked, when he, he school... looked like the fake picture of Jesus. What is Caesar uh, Borgia? Borgia? That, mm-hmm. That's the name, right? Yeah, Caesar Borgia. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me say something to you. There used to be a time in in the education system. We're going to bring some more people in here too to talk with us. Yeah, there used to yeah, be a time. Yeah. It, there used to be a time in the education system where they would even if, if you didn't 
if you didn't have the required skills to go to the next page, they would hold you back. Do you know they did away with that? And now they, got they did away with that now. Promotion. Yeah. You automatically get sent to the next grade. So there is literally no threshold to go to the next grade. There's no threshold yeah. is what you're telling me. Exactly. Don't you think that that's so wrong? I looked at my, when I had to take my daughter to a private school, was when I realized that they were letting every child in the same class, they were letting the deaf children, the retarded children, turn in the, I'm, I'm being dead serious. In kindergarten, oh, yeah, first, no, and second, third, second and third grades, they let all the kids in there. The retarded kids get to sit in there and disrupt the class. Then they have 20, to 30 children in the class and one teacher. They're not trying to teach your children. They don't want to teach your children. They don't. It, that's the whole thing. No, the only the only person I've seen guilty of wanting to teach the children is the one who took out that little Mexican chick in California. Give me back my phone. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Man, and and that's what I was trying to tell. I was so glad she did. First. At first, I was like, man, that little Mexican chick looked like she could gobble a bag of dicks and shit. And then, and then <laughs> as soon as I saw the rest of the video, I was like, man, I want to kick that bitch's teeth in. Wait, wait, that's what I kept thinking. And, and, people, and I know a lot of people were looking at it when they first saw the video. They thought, well, I was going to go off on the black chick for being a beastie. And I was like, no, shit. There's a difference between taking up for yourself. It's just like me with how I speak. I never make a rant video about any YouTuber unless they say something about me first. And as a matter of fact, what I need to start doing is charging them motherfuckers because now they're just doing it so I can say something back to them. But the point yeah, is... Yeah, you have to charge them for fucking advertising. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're doing. They, they keep putting my name... Oh, they need to give me some money for the fact they keep putting my name and shit. But you got to you gotta think to yourself, there has to be something about this guy that's something, that he's as small as he is, but he's getting fucked with as much as he's getting fucked with. You don't know anybody that gets fucked with the way I do. You don't know anybody where they release their home address their, their, and, and their family's address. Every time that you talk on there, you give, you give specific... Uh, names of people or whatever you can see and they they start talking all this nonsense and they're they're I mean they're uh, they're fruity as little Wayne and I see this dude on the top here with I'm sorry with, with Will Nick or with, yeah Will Nick or whatever you know I'm sure you cool and I got all the respect in the world for you but I could out rap little Wayne in 16 bars right now without any rehearsal no nothing like. Uh, seriously, like if I did, well, like, like, even the music, like the music, the music is designed. The music is designed to um, dumb people down. He's got a song, and I heard that song, and I was so offended when I was driving here. It was some song kept going, "Long as my bitch love me." I get that. I was like, not, really? He's not saying anything. What is that? Like, okay, listen to listen to a Tupac song. Then listen to this shit. All I listen to is old school shit. Like, I heard you talk about Big L the other day. I was like, hell yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? All my favorite rappers get killed. All right? <laughs> All my favorite rappers get killed. Except there's one, there's, one, there's one rapper that I like today that is underground that I actually have a song with, which is on my little uh, YouTube or whatever, the snippet with his verse on it with the, my my instrumental, and uh, is Planet Asia. You ever heard of him? No. When you send me some instrumentals? Man, I got man. I have over a hundred. I have over a hundred beats. Over a hundred. Man, I was. That's why. That's the other reason I want to talk to you, man. You can sing. I can't sing. My boy Wanza can't sing. See, check this out. Our group is the Lost Sons of Heaven, or it's just Lost Sons of Heaven. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you can you can go look up Angelo Manara on YouTube, everybody or whatever. So when I come to LA, we're gonna do we're gonna do a track. Yeah, no, you see that's the whole thing. Like we 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 could do shit. I mean, I could hook you up with with beats that you can you can go go crazy on or whatever. I'll just I'll, man, I'll just hook you up or whatever. That's how, that's how cool with, with this I am. And uh, and then you could I mean if if if, uh, if the shit if the if you I mean if you like the beat or whatever and you make a dope song out of it, keep it. Put just put my name on the production. And fucking and that's the whole thing. Like man, you could get on a song with us too. Like that's the whole thing. Like uh, um. I, it's me. I, okay, I rap and I produce, and I'm start. I just started uh, our, our label, which is D Illuminati Entertainment. I know you like that. <laughs> D Illuminati. <laughs> 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 
And okay, and then and then my boy named uh Dub S, he lives in uh in LA as well. Like I live in LA part time as well. And um he he raps even better than me, like which is dude's phenomenal. And then there's the other producer who is Costa Rican and lives in Costa Rica, in San Jose, Costa Rica. His name's Diego. Um, and I taught him how to make beats. Now he makes some beats better than mine and shit. I'm like, so I love it. So we have a, 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 a totally diverse group with totally diverse uh, lyrics and beats or whatever. And, man, that was the whole thing, man. I heard, I mean, because you got, you got skills and you actually say shit, man. What, coming through like Os- Osama Bin Loud, man. <laughs> <laughs>
we're, we're, I mean, I'm go, okay, I'm going down at the end of June. I I'm just spending, can mimic. Uh, two months I in just LA. can mimic people. I can mimic a lot of shit. I'm yeah, very good I, at mimicking I'm a lot thinking, of shit. Thinking, yeah, but, you, man, you got the talent to, to I mean, like, if it, um, you got the talent to, to do your own uh, your own shit or whatever, and especially if like uh, if we were to like throw you on like a verse or like uh, um, a chorus or something, and we already got our verses written or maybe the chorus or whatever, you could train the shit or whatever, all that or and 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 that's the whole thing. You can do it where from where you're at, send it to the West Coast or whatever. We can finish it in L.A. when I get down there in uh, June. I'm spending June, July. Probably August because my birthday is in August uh, down down in LA to record it. Then I'm spent. I gotta drop 10 G's to this uh, advertising company called the Gary Group, which is, which has uh, done advertising for 80 percent of Billboard's top 10 for the last 10 years. So and and if I give them 10 G's or whatever, and and I got tight shit that's all on point, then it'll be no problem. And when you see the fucking album cover, you, you're gonna be like, man, that's the dopest album cover I ever saw. It's gonna a remind you of ATL uh, ATLians uh, cover, but like our style. Do me a favor, Fresh. You gotta do me a favor. Uh, send me the oh. email so I can get it. Make sure you you label the um the um what do you call it? I'm the, right, the, I'm right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Label the. Um, can I send it to? Can you shit the the subject the subject line? Subject line. Make sure you put the subject line that that is you. And I and yeah, I guarantee you'll be able to get it because I gotta do a search about okay, the subject line. Okay. Cj at yourworldmyviews dot com. Is that the? Yes, is that's that it. Now, and then yeah, that way, I do is go in and search. Okay. Angelo. So go in and search. Well, all I gotta do is go in at that point and search by by your name and it'll pull it up. All right. All right. Here, oh, here. You know what? Right. You know what I'll do. I'm gonna I'm gonna attach uh I'm gonna attach that plant the the Planet Asia snippet right right now for you so that you can you can have you can listen to that. Tell me what you think because it's it's my beat. It has the actual recorded uh rap on it. Here, hold on. Time to. Yeah, okay, I got it right here. Let, let, okay, it's it's loading. It'll take like two seconds, and I'll put it here, and then I'm gonna send it out here in about eight seconds or whatever. Like, you, guys, right, well, you guys should open. Well, yeah, go ahead, and, go ahead and get that to me. I'm gonna try because I'm, I'm not gonna be on the air that long tonight. I'm gonna try to get as oh. many. Um, some, some, let me try to get some more phone calls sure. in, but send that out to me. And let's see if we can get something together. Hey guys, we were talking about um, a lot of. This is a very impromptu show. Uh, shit's not really working, but um, I'm waiting to hear um, Doyle. If you can get Doyle to call in, that would be great. I'd love to talk to Doyle. I got to talk to my man Sage, who's on the line. Are you, once you pay, because uh, the very first caller that you had, uh, the rapper, and yes, he gives me hope for rap music. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Check it. To Illuminati, lost sons of heaven, fresh, yo. All these rats and vipers got me writing letters in Caesar cipher, telling them they better pay the piper before I get hyper and use the knife. The only reason you ain't lose your life is because I'm trying to follow the words of Christ, so I suppose I'll settle for a heist. Steal your mic, start committing verbal murder, the illest shit you ever heard of. Busting around just like a burner, turning teachers to learners. Leave them speechless and curious, but hurry, it's too fast and too furious. The moral of the story is I'm taking the game back like historians. Riding DeLoreans, cause in my future you're glorious. And I'm rolling with all of my friends in a bulletproof bins. Bumping notorious, pulling up to something Victorian. Stepping out like Max Julian, rocking reptilians. Heavily armed like Roman centurions. This is where the journey begins. My composition's real as fuck while the opposition pretends. The competition's Sucks, thus the title I defend, the first side of Spence, the name is fresh and killing his first past tense. Yeah. What they call you now, huh? They call me Indiana Jones Cause I always stay away from snakes And lay away my cape Refuse to speak to Jake To lose or even contemplate Drinking from the cup Full of the filthiness you fornicate For your wealthiness cannot afford my weight The sacrifices that you devise I despise, I realize The deception was certain The second I sense a stench Of the sturgeon witnessing The wolf disguised as a sheep Spitting the lies of the serpent Yeah One love 
my true love, the one I'm always thinking of. Smoking blunts in the tub just to show me some love. Or slipping on them leather gloves when push comes to shove. I know it's true love. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yo, one day I met you. Five foot two eyes, ocean eyes, ooh. No fool, no joke, always ready for whoever provoke. Cause when you get your crowd maga on, you send it Babylon back to Chrome Magnon. You're always down to ride. You can sit in daddy's lap, forget the passenger side. Deliver you to my layer, leave your underwear over there, and you can meet me upstairs. Five minutes later, I bear witness to the most amazing sight. <laughs> you stare deep into my eyes all night. And nobody could ever replace, I swear your last name was Lovelace One love, to my true love, the one I'm always thinking of Puffing blunts in a tub, just to show me some love Or slipping on them leather gloves, when push comes to shove I know it's true love, whenever one time gives chase It's always safe to lay low at her place One love, to my true love, the one I'm always thinking of Puffing blunts in a tub, just to show me some love Or slipping on them leather gloves, when push comes to shove I know it's true love yeah, yeah, huh The very next day we discussed philosophies Biblical prophecies, the visions of Socrates How you wanna co-star on my autobiography Or how I earn my PhD in female anatomy THC in my nasal cavities Trying to forget all the tragedies, social calamities Be the best man that I plan to be in this reality My balls and my word are all that I can guarantee Infallibly victorious, I just had to be a winner in this game Cause I remain the same LA just to rep the name And even if I don't get paid, you can keep the fame You know the words that I speak are true Cause I give it all up for you One love to my true love The one I'm always thinking of Puffing blunts in the tub just to show me some love Or slipping on them leather gloves when push comes to shove I know it's true love, yeah A few years later Crocs and gators, enemies and haters Scoping out my navigator, dreaming of paper Till my true love broke them down to the lowest common denominator And watch a straight California cage while I'm rolling California papers Leaving you endless, trust me I have a better way to spend this Always on her, cause she pays back in infinite digits Turning popos to piglets, teeth to chicklets You best believe I spit this Testament of holy matrimony for the one who wards off all the phonies And always has my back, test this and roll out in a long Cadillac Yes it's like that, cause me and Nina go way way back Since my first big payback on this clown When I came up on more hay than James Brown Skipped out of town, but now I'm back with my true love Onyx black puffin' that chronic sack Ducking back while she lays in my lap And it's like that Jack One love to my true love The one I'm always thinking of Back rubs in the tub just to show me some love Or slipping on them leather gloves when push comes to shove I know it's true love, I know it's true love I know it's true love I love you.